I'm going to assume that the only reason Tosei didn't make this game was because they were already making the Moero Pro Yaku games for Jalico. Mimon Daisan Yakubu is Bandai's attempt to make a yearly baseball franchise. And since their favorite developer was tied up, they went to their second favorite developer, Human Entertainment. At least Human Entertainment is the better of those two. And they made a baseball game where the on-field action isn't as technically proficient as we've seen in a lot of the 1989 baseball games, but it does have several things that make it stand out in this crowded field. Mamon Daisan Yakubu started out as a comic, and at the time the game was made, there was a cartoon airing. That's standard operating procedure for Bondi games. It was a comedic story about the third baseball team at a prestigious high school, which was made up of a bunch of colorful misfits. In the game Maimon Daisan Yakubu, you could do the usual put two teams up against each other and play a match, or you could choose dramatic mode. Dramatic mode is the story mode, and the player gets to walk the team through a series of opponents to the big game. You'll play a series of seven matches, and after you beat each match, you get a password that will let you continue. On field, the images of the game itself look pretty primitive, but you have this bar at the top that gives you a more animated perspective. You can see the pitcher get worn out, and information on what's going to get thrown. That helps since the game is fast. Those high school fastballs are some of the fastest I've seen in a baseball game, and the fielding is also similarly fast. Well, the fielders are. The ball tends to be a bit slower, and that makes the fielding work out pretty well. You won't have too much trouble catching pop flies in this game. On the other hand, I did have a lot of trouble getting the timing down for hitting. I was getting a lot of foul balls. Part of that was due to me swinging at pitches that weren't going straight over the plate, of course. But it still felt like it was a lot of fouls. I couldn't switch out my pitcher, though I know that the teams can have multiple pitchers, so it might have just been this exhibition match at the start. And there wasn't a single home run hit while I was playing, by me or the computer. Another positive thing in Maimon Daisan Yakubu is that there's a gradual ramp up of difficulty here. The first team that you play in dramatic mode is relatively simple. Okay, they were scoring high on me, but I don't like playing baseball games. Of course, even with all these improvements and the detailed character graphics that really do look nice, this is still just a baseball game. So I don't have a whole lot to go into here. I do think it's one of the better baseball games we've seen on the Famicom, though. It's not a technical showcase, except for those close-ups of characters. It's just a solid playing baseball game that really doesn't do anything wrong. 